Hi, and welcome to the sixth video of how to deal with online leads. Um, this will be the final and probably one of the shortest videos that we're covering. It's about what to do when you get to the showing. Um, so now if you've had a great welcome call, you've taken the lead, um, as a, you've already started building the trust, um, now it's absolutely key to capitalize on that very same trust. So on your very, very first showing, it is essential that you actually arrive early. By early, it is between half an hour and 15 minutes before. You need to know absolutely everything there is to know about the building that you're seeing and or the neighborhood that you're seeing if you're seeing a house. Come prepared with any uh, supporting element that you can. Uh, if you only have access to MLS sheets because you don't work at Home 61 and you don't have the ability to print out a great PDF or to have an iPad with um, the detailed page, um, that's, that's okay. Um, but make sure that you go there, that you come prepared. Um, once you arrive, you arrive there, it is very important to greet the client um, and to reaffirm that you know about them. So if there is any key element that has come out during that very first welcome call where you guys have connected, whether it is over a pet, over an interest, over a particular subject, even if it's about real estate, um, make sure that you reassess this very quickly in the conversation so that you can put the client at ease and he really knows that you remember him, you know who he is, and you understand his problem. By reassessing, um, by reaffirming what his problem that you're working towards the, um, uh, the solution will make him feel, feel that you are actually the solution to his problem. A few examples, as I've mentioned earlier, if they need to, to move in quickly because their family is joining them in 30 days, well, ask them how is their family, ask them if they're ready to move in with you, if they're excited about moving to Florida. Um, if it's, uh, you guys have, uh, they are running out of their lease, uh, ask them if they've already started packing, if they're already ready to make the move. All of those things show that you care about them, that you are the solution to their problem, and that they're in good hands. Last but not least, um, the knowledge that you have on the building and on the neighborhood will establish you as a real estate authority of the relationship. Make sure that you know more of your clients, more, more than your clients, and from there on, if you're able to reaffirm the, the trust, you're able to show that you know them, you're able to know that you know their problem and that you're going to be the solution, you're going to be off to a great relationship with your client, one that will close with you and that one that will come back to you over and over again. Thank you very much for watching our training videos on how to um, deal with online leads and how to manage online leads. Um, I hope you've learned a lot and thank you very much for your time and happy closings.